Hello and welcome to my video for fifth grade for covering the homework uh, from our lesson from Monday. So this video is coming out on Tuesday, uh, April the 21st. Um, I already started to do it and then I made some mistakes and so forth. So um, I'll talk you through the thought process. It'll shorten the video by a couple moments and um, I'll kind of give you some updates for what's getting ready to happen this week. So um, to start with, <clears throat> I started by writing all of the operations that we are going to work with. And so um, to get from ounces to pints, um, we would be dividing by 16 because there are eight ounces in a cup and two cups in a pint. So if I do 192 divided by 16, that's gonna give me 12. Um, eight ounces in a cup, I would divide by eight. That's gonna give me uh, 30 cups uh, out of 240 ounces. Number six, um, we would have two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, and so that would be four cups to a quart. So we're going to multiply by four to get 40. Um, number eight, we are going to uh, divide by eight because two pints to a quart and four quarts to a gallon, um, that would give us eight pints to a gallon. And so that would give us nine. Uh, number 10, uh, we are going to do, uh, f we could do two different things. We could take this and divide by four, or we could take this and multiply by four. So there are four quarts to a gallon. So if I did it this way, I could do four times four to get 16 and know that this side is bigger, or I can do 17 divided by four and figure out that it's going to give me four with a remainder, which means this side would be bigger. Um, 400 pints, we are going to divide by eight and that would give us 50 pints. So 50 pints on this side versus 100, uh, this side would be smaller. Number 16, uh, we made uh, 144 fluid ounces of scented candle wax. How many one cup uh, candle molds can she fill? Uh, that should come out to 18. I stumbled on this one uh, when I was talking because I thought I had the right answer and then I started second guessing myself. And so I say I killed about a minute and a half trying to uh, talk through the a second time. So yeah, 10 groups of eight is going to give me 80. 20 groups of eight is going to give me 160. I can count backward by eight to get to 144. I would take away uh, two groups of 18, uh, which would be worth 16. And that would give me my 144. So 18 groups. Um, number 18, <clears throat> give some examples. So I'm not going to take the time to write this. Um, I'm going to briefly explain. So this was the table that they were referring to. Um, now, uh, we would use cups most often when we are using measurements for cooking. Um, so we could use fluid ounces. We could also use um, dry ounces. Um, it kind of works out the same way. Um, you could take a uh, measuring cup of which I have one downstairs. I don't have it available to bring on camera. You could fill that with rice and have a cup of rice, um, or you could use the measuring spoon kind of cups um, that you can hold in your hand and kind of dip. Um, so these work out the same way. There's a different ounce for uh, weight. Um, and so that's why they give it as fluid ounces here. Um, one pint, we might use that um, when we're cooking, but we're usually gonna use cups or possibly quarts. Um, a pint you would find if you went to the grocery store and got a pint of Ben and Jerry's. We might see that uh, particular measurement uh, for uh, that type of, type of thing. Um, dairy products, um, so like whipping cream, um, you could get, uh, purchase in a pint. Um, I've done that to make soup. Um, quartz, we're usually going to think about water or sometimes milk. Um, definitely fluids. Um, we're not going to do dry ingredients in a quart usually. Um, gallons, again, would probably be water or uh, milk. So um, those would be uh, things that we would measure that capacity or like, for instance, a gallon of milk. We're probably not going to measure that whole thing out, but we might use gallons as part of making a um, soup or something like that. Um, we need a certain number of gallons or quarts of water uh, to do something. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two problems on the back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so Rosa made 18 gallons of lemonade. We can multiply that by eight uh, to get the number of pints. 
and that would give us 96. I started to do um, division for this one and uh, then realized as I started to talk that that was not the correct symbol. So if we are changing from gallons to quarts, um, there are four quarts in a gallon. We are going to need to multiply this by four uh, to get 160. So those were our problems for the homework for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will be uh, recording a, uh, another set of videos uh, that will cover Wednesday and Thursday <clears throat> as my wife and I have some errands that we have to run over the next couple of days. So we will still be, I will still be available for answering questions and comments on Google Classroom. We'll still be doing office hours, although maybe at a slightly different time on Tuesday, the day that this video will come out. Um, but I will post comments on all of that in Google Classroom. So hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.